Good morning, welcome from Budapest again. Sitting next to me is Sean Delmar, which I think most people will know, but Sean's obviously um, chairman, of, is it chairman? President. President, sorry, I do apologize. President of the Irish Kennel Club. Can you just say a bit who you are, Sean, and what you do? Yes, uh, I'm Sean Delmar, president of the Irish Kennel Club. Uh, and uh, Giles have been in my family for generations, since the 1940s actually. So um, it's a great privilege for me to be president in the Irish Kennel Club and I get this nice opportunity to travel around the world representing <laughs> Ireland. Good. And is this your first time in, in, in the World Dog Show in Budapest? No, I was here the last time they had the World Dog Show in Budapest when they had all the traffic problems. <laughs> but uh, they seem to have got over that this time and the access is really good. Good. And, and impressions of the show? Very well organised, plenty of room in the rings, dogs of excellent quality, friendly exhibitors, good judges to interact with, so all in all a really nice experience. Good, good. And I think you were judging yesterday? I was, yes. I was doing two of the terrier breeds, Lakelands and Irish Terriers. So, good. yeah, really good. The Lakelands in particular were very good, a lot of quality dogs around. And in the Irish I found some really typey, proper characteristic dogs. Good, which is good, because they're not the most numerously uh, large breeds now, are they? So to get good ones is important. No, they're not, but they're lucky, the breeders, in that there's a lot of passionate people across Europe that really believe in the breed and understand it, uh, the special points of it, yeah. which is nice. Especially yeah. coming from Ireland, I'd like to see that yeah, an Irish breed is well looked after. Good. My two winners, by the way, anyway, is the Anglo-German Alliance. <laughs> is it? Yes, the Irish went to Germany <laughs> and the... Uh, Lakelands went to UK. Oh, that's good. That's good. And are you here for the all, all four days? Yes, we're here to the final, just uh, um, and we travel out on Sunday night. Good. And in, um, anything you would do slightly different at this show, or do you think they've got it about perfect? Well, I mean, it's not for me to say <laughs> no. to tell them how to organise. I think it's been very good. Their yeah. organisation is very good. And yes, of course, there's always things you can do, and I'm sure they would say yeah. the same afterwards. But overall, I think it's been a really good experience and nice. I think everybody I'm, I'm talking to says this is a really good dog show. It which is. is which is great because it's it, you know well organised, well yeah. planned, yeah. and like you say, great atmosphere. Let's hope it carries on till Sunday. Yeah, I think it will. You, you have to have quality dogs and numbers. That's yeah. really what makes it, because when you have numbers and breeds, you can establish type. Yeah. If you have small numbers, unfortunately, you can't develop type, and anybody watching can't get an impression of a breed. Yeah. But where you have big numbers, you get a chance to put a line up there where people can say, yeah, that, that's what this breed should be about. Good. You spend a lot of money here, you guys, <laughs> on the sponsorship. It's really good. Yes, yeah, good. And I stand. have to say, it's all very fine as organisers, and we have the same experience in Ireland. But you really need the finances and the money to kind of do this type of thing. No. And entry fees alone don't generate it. So you no. need the the help of you guys within the industry to to help make it happen. Good. Thank you very much. Okay.